Hey everybody, this is AKMan1984, back for part 5 of my tutorial series. Today, as I promised, I'm going to show you how to do the wireless transmitters. But before I start, I'm going to show you how to do a simple uh, messaging program that uh, you can send messages to one computer to another. And also I wanted to show you that uh, <coughs> the, uh, the, the, the wireless transmitters, when they're off, they have a black band like this around it and when they're on like this one is let's see uh, they have a red band around it <coughs> and you see here I can have as many uh, wireless transmitters as I want on one computer but you don't really need more than one I mean you could do two if you wanted to but you don't you don't need it so we're gonna just knock that out and we're gonna have one one uh, a transmitter for each computer so I'm gonna show you a simple c a code a simple uh, program you can make that's uh, very easy and uh, also uh, explain you how the red net red uh, the um, wireless transmitters work also so we're gonna make a new program just call it a okay for now you can call it anything you want so first signal uh, would be red net dot open and then you select the the uh, side where your red uh, where your uh, wireless transmitter is on so once you do that um, you would s send the signal that you would want and you put red net dot send and uh, here you can uh, here you would select the uh, the computer that you you want to send it to. So this is why I said the uh, ID of the computer is very important to f to know because they they they, um, they change. So 30 will be the ID of the computer I'm gonna send the signal to, and then a, a message any message you want to the computer. All right. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's what you, that's the only co co that's the only two codes you need for this to work for this computer, though. Although, if you want to receive a uh, <coughs> message, we'll do a another A program, and then we'll do again rednet dot open. And this command here is uh, is important uh, for. Uh, at the start of any of your pr programs that have a wireless transmitter in the back or whatever side it's on okay so here instead of uh, send hold on a second here instead of send we're gonna do uh, oops red net dot uh, receive receive and then here um, when you do open and close like this uh, this will basically wait make the computer wait until it receives a signal all right and uh, and then uh, if you don't put anything here it will just wait forever until it receives something but if you put any number here it will wait for that time of period and uh, and then just just go back into the normal uh, computer craft. So when you put these, um, when you put this, uh, uh, you have to. Oh, sorry, I forgot something. You have to put um, message or here. You can do. Uh, you don't have to put message if you don't want to. Uh, but. Um, but it's always good to put message to find out what, like, uh, it's to to know what uh, to just make it simpler, basically. And then the next command will be print. Then message. Okay. So if you had, had if you had this if you had message. To, to something else then this would be something uh, the, the same as 
what you have here. Alright, so it's better to write it like this. ID uh, message and then equals red net receive and then print message without the uh, without anything uh, because uh, this is how it, it likes it <laughs> so we'll save this again and then we'll, we'll we will run a and then here we we'll, we'll run a again and like you saw nothing ha nothing has happened but if you look here it says hello so if we run this again and then go into the edit of A and then change this to to whatever we want. So we can put A Game Man 1984 or say Hello Game Man 1984. Save this and then send it. <coughs> and then it says Hello Game Man 1984. See? All right, so that's one thing you could do. Another, oh, sorry. Another thing you can do, which is pretty cool, I find, is you can take the print out and do shell dot run. And basically, what this will do is run any program or any program that you make inside of this computer. And the only thing you need to do is select uh, make sure you you put the name of the program you want so here we're gonna do add adventure okay save that and then put a and then when you, if you look at this now it's running the adventure uh, program that's inside the, co the computer uh, so if you want oops sorry if you want, we could also change it to uh, we could also change it to shut down. Okay, save that and then run it. And then if you look at the computer, oh, it turned off. See, it's off. This one's on. This one's off. And we go, if we go, it turns back on. Okay, so that's how you do. That's how you do it if you want to run. A program you can also if you want to put your if you want to put your if you want to do it your own program you have to just basically name your own your own program here and make sure that it's in the same it's in the computer saved and it's the same exact name as you have it uh, named <coughs> so that's how you do that guys um, so it's basically it's very simple um, so we'll, we'll exit out of this and I'm going to show you guys the the program I had in the beginning uh, in the other tutorial where uh, where I showed you at the start where you just turn on the light and it turns on that light and then turns off turn on off the light and it turns off the light that's a that's a bug by the way so <coughs> Turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. Okay. So, how you would do that? I'm basically going to show you going to show you the code. Start up. All right. So here's the code. It's a little changed. Uh, I took out the sleeps, and I put the red net open here. Uh, oop, yeah. Or you could you could put it wherever you want. Really, it doesn't really matter. You, I I like it to put I like to put it here. I don't know why I chose there. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, you could put it anywhere you want. So the other change I've made is here. Uh, now here uh, I put white on. Now I'm gonna explain to you why. But before I do that, so basically. <coughs> The computer is going to wait for red redstone signal, and when the white is true from the left, it's going to send uh, the message white is on to computer 30. And then it's going to wait for another redstone signal, and then it's going to it's it's going to wait for the white to be false from the left, and it's going to send a signal white off. 
and then at the end here I this this uh, code here uh, the, you don't really need it but it's good basically this code is to reboot the, the system and uh, I just I just showed you another way to reboot the system so I could just if I if I wanted to I could just here uh, put a uh, um, uh, message uh, OS uh, sorry shell dot run um, reboot and then it will reboot the computer so this is how you would send the computer send the signal to one computer to another uh, and this is how I'm going to show you how to receive the message start up okay so uh, see here I put it uh, I put the co the uh, run um, rednet open at the start here I put spaces so instead of uh, Re, uh, like I did in the, uh, in the at the beginning, I, I put ID, message, and then rednet dot receive, and then here see here it says if message. Now it's going to read the message, and if it's if it's white on, like I've said in the other computer, it so it only it's, it's only going to react to this message. Now if you want if you don't want to put a white on, you could put anything you want guys so just don't forget to put the same exact message as you put here and as it, as you put here okay so whatever this is whatever you want here whatever it is it has to be the same uh, where is it here okay so one or here sorry um, so when uh, so it's gonna it's gonna wait for the uh, message and it's gonna wait forever this is never gonna do anything because I didn't specify a time. So uh, when it receives the white on message, then it's gonna, I, like I showed you in the other tutorial, it's gonna turn on the light and this is the command I used for the uh, turn on the white light. So very simple. And then it's gonna print white is on. And then it's gonna wait for another signal, it's gonna it's gonna wait forever, and when when the uh, message is white off, then it's gonna turn off the white light, and pretty much it's the same exact except for the minus here. So that's how you do that, guys. So and then that and it's gonna print white is off, and then it's gonna send a signal to no, uh, computer thirty five, which is the computer over here. And it's gonna say reboot, and then it's gonna reboot itself. So re OS reboot. So let's restart this again, and see the the, s the signal reboot. So then it's gonna OS reboot. It's always good to reboot your computers after you do a red net um, uh, command, but you can continue the command if you want. And uh, I'm gonna show you that in the next tutorial, guys. So on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. So this, you can actually do this rapidly too. It's pretty quick. But uh, I mean, the look, if you look at the other, the other light, it's not very, uh, it's not very responsive. But it does, I mean, it's not super quick. It might be my, uh, by me, it might be my Minecraft that's a little slow because of all the things I'm running but that's how you do it guys um, so don't f uh, hope you guys like this tutorial and uh, come here you bastard <laughs> anyways uh, <coughs> so that's how you do that I uh, hope you like this tutorial guys and uh, part f in part five, oh, sorry, part six, <coughs> I'm gonna show you guys something new, which is uh, a new a program that I use to code with, and it's better to do it inside the computers because you then uh, you can see all your all your code this way, and it's called uh, Notepad plus plus, and I'm gonna show you guys in the next tutorial how to make how to run it, how to uh, play with it. And how to uh, how to make it work inside of Computercraft and Minecraft. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys 
how to do with how to do it with multiple lights and could keep going forever and ever not to reboot the the, the system as I, as I did it in this way but uh, this is a, a fast and easy way but this only is gonna work for one uh, light <coughs> so uh, I'm gonna, in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to do it with multiple lights and how to do it forever and ever and ever and also to show you to, to display keep displaying what color is on okay so that's gonna be in the next tutorial guys hope you like this one so I, I'll see you later